Can somebody explain to me what the cringe Avengers are? Because 94% of my comments in my last Attack on Titan reaction video, everyone was like, oh shit, the next episode's the cringe Avengers. Don't you understand that I'm the king of cringe? I was meant for an episode like this. Y'all better stop that Attack on Titan slander in the comments. Don't make me send Chantaro after you. He's gonna fuck your ass up. And there goes my ad revenue. I cursed in like the first 30 seconds. Fun fact, for my anime reactions, as much as I curse, I've never been demonetized. So fuckity fuck fuck. Look at me pressing the buttons. All right, let's get to the cringe vengers. Night of the end. The end of what? Oh my god, I thought the baby was saying that. Oh shit. I never know what anime, bro. I don't know what they do in Japan. Is the legal age to drink two months old? Night and day, I'll sip on the finest liquor. Boy, that's the life. Is this Attack on Titan? Or bar rescue. Who did John fuck? Is that John or Papa John? I just realized if John becomes a dad, he's gonna be called Papa John. I'll eat his pizza. Oh, we're gonna learn how he changed his mind? Is this a John-centric episode? This is incredible. I have so much to say already. I love how John's battling with the perception that we had of him when we first saw him in the show. That he's gonna be this asshole, and that is how he saw himself. But as we've grown with John, we've understood him more. We, we know who he is, and we know he's a good person. He's an amazing person, he's a beautiful person. In fact, I'd turn gay for him. But that's besides the point. <laughs> He better not fight ever again. He lost fingers. How is he gonna finger Hanji? We need more allies. This is literally the Avengers. Who's Iron Man in this case? Mikasa? Armin's definitely Thor. He got that big hammer, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Mikasa's like, if anyone's gonna kill Iron, it's me, because I get to touch him. This show is not afraid to kill people, but I don't see Eren dying in the show. We won't see that. Marley has way more on their shoulders. <laughs> Listen to John, man. Whoo, what a performance. Oh, Hanji. You're too good for this world, Hanji. Look, she's sorry for raising her voice. The credits are rolling during the sequence. That's when you know it's important. Don't, don't you dare make me fucking cry. Don't you dare. Why do I feel like Hanji's gonna die and John's gonna take her spot? And I feel like this is like a defining scene for that. Like, she is saying all of this, inspiring him. And she's gonna die. Oh god, no, nah, she better not fucking die. You'll die if she dies. I'll make sure of it. No! No! Don't you. No! Don't you dare! Don't you dare show me this! Oh man, this seems like a lifetime ago. Seeing Hannes and Erwin and these other people. No, nope, nope. Oh! Fuck Marco, but oh! I haven't said that in like three seasons. Oh, that was one of the most beautiful scenes. Potatoes! Oh, shit. I'll never look at a potato the same way ever again. That's the most horrific fucking sight I've ever seen in my life. How could you casually sit there with that right next to you? I don't get it. Look at this picture. Look who's here! Ooh, wait, are we gonna have all of them fighting now to the death in front of the fire? Oh, makes me cream every time I hear that. Is this where they're all gonna come to an understanding? Because if so, hell yeah. This is all they had to do. Sit around a fucking campfire and have food. It solves everyone's problems. Oh shit. 
ジョンズオビスメルデザーツアンデスガイズライクイエイユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユーユー
ストヘスクでも大勢の住民を踏みつぶした。She's even talking shit about all the islanders. Isn't that a hockey team? That's right. Fucking killer. You're a killer, Armin. Yeah. Bro, is she like not even gonna talk about Connie? That would be the funniest shit ever. So, when you're in the show, Gabi, you know, Sasha got which color Saremasta. Don't remind me of that. I was starting to forgive her. But she more Kanashkata. Yeah, but bet you were sad and they probably scissored too. She didn't even mention Connie. Oh, shit. This is a hunch, son. Oh, come on, you must go. John doesn't give a fuck with this psycho saying, hell yeah! Oh, I, it's a shame you blew your buddies. Bro, you didn't have to end the top sentence like that. Y'all knew what you were doing with that. Huh. <laughs> Dude's drinking from the bottle. John is my spirit animal, and he's not even an animal. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, shit, you used the M word! <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, oh. Oh shit, we're gonna. Three seasons later! I forgot Marco existed! Life was better that way. I can't believe it. Oh shit. Yo, John is gonna fuck your ass up, Rhino. You better sleep with one eye open. Bababa Duke! Attack on Titan animators? Y'all directed this episode amazing. You better step away from that fire, Reiner. Your face better be burnt half a lot, half half off. You're gonna look like Two Face. Oh, I don't care about Marco. I care about John's feelings for Marco. How the fuck were people complaining about this episode? This is incredible. They're sitting by the campfire, all enemies, letting everything out, coming to a a common un ground with each other. Like, this is beautiful. This is sick. This is mature. Instead of fighting and slapping each other back and forth with their cocks out, like, they're, they're talking about it. They're conversation, bro. I feel like that's what this generation lacks. Just talk shit out. I mean, this is what the world lacks is conversation. Y'all can learn something from this shit. Sit down when your enemies understand them. Anji just said it! The show knows me! Reiner, don't break my heart, man. I feel more bad for Reiner than Marco when he killed him. This is why I love Reiner. Reiner and Gabby. Top two. Mm. What a scene. What the fuck is wrong with y'all that said I'd hate this episode? This is amazing. Are you serious? What's wrong with you? John just kicked Gabby. He's gonna get cancelled. Oh, Gabby. Gabby is a 30 year old man. Gabby. Mm. Mm. Oh shit, let me let me show you something. Let me show you something. Look at the top comment. Look what it says. We still not forgiving Gabby, bro. Yo, what's your name? Fucking fart smell? You can smell my farts, bro. This is what they needed to do. They needed this night. Gashimas! Oh, I thought he's gonna fucking field kick Gabby. <laughs> this just just commander magoth seeing that fucking two minutes ago he hated them he hated the entire paradise island like he was still on this whole history lesson but now look at him like you see that conflict he's coming to an understanding like gabby and reiner did mostly gabby that and then levi waking up so damn noisy i told y'all bro let the man sleep don't get me started with the piano bro i want to learn the piano because of this show 
just to play this song. Who's waking her up? What are you gonna do to her? No. Mochirunda. Sometimes all it takes is sleep and food. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he healed. He's fine. <laughs> Look how they're separated with Donkey Kong barrels. Is he gonna apologize to Reiner? No, he would never. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god, that makes that makes me worry, man. I feel like Reiner's gonna die. It's about damn time, pick. Oh my god, we're gonna have a battle coming soon. I wanna see blood. Jaegerist blood. God, y'all were talking about cringe vengers and all that stuff. That episode was amazing, man. I don't care what anybody says. I understand what people mean. You have these characters coming together, let's save the world, and it could be a little corny and, and too much. But put that aside. Put the cringe aside. There's plenty more of that on the internet. Just go on TikTok. But, um, I loved it. I love the conversation. It just shows you what conversation could do. It could stop a war. It could solve everything. These characters coming together for a, for a, on a common ground f uh, to a common understanding, basically, to just figure out what to do from here on out because they all have this common goal. Come on a common ground so we can follow this common goal. That's all it takes, bro, is talk. You'd be amazed what words can do, okay? What a mouth can do. Trust me, I would know. Anyways, guys, I want you to let me know down below two things, actually. One, should I make Hanji stew here in my kitchen live one day? And two, how'd you feel about this episode? Were you part of the crowd that didn't like it or part of the crowd that did like it? Let me know. But other than that, I'm gone.